Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and if you've been following me on YouTube then you know that uh, around two months ago I've upgraded my video editing laptop. I got a cheaper model, it was $1300, it's more than capable of editing HD, even 4K video. Uh, but one of the things that I, you know, I was saying in, in order to save yourself some money is don't buy a laptop with the latest, you know, specs or, or uh, you know, if accessories in it. One of the big ones is the hard drives. Uh, just buy a laptop with the regular hard drives and then later on upgrade it yourself to SSDs, which are solid state drives. Uh, they use less power, they don't have actual moving parts and they work a lot faster. So by putting your, see, your operating system on it, your, your programs or even your video files, you're, you're going to speed up the whole computer because these days even a uh, sort of a you know, medium kind of a computer with a medium graphics card and a processor is more than capable of editing 4k footage problem is usually the hard drive is not, not fast enough to keep up so definitely you want to edit uh, and work off of ssds so that's what i did so let me just show you the the hard drives that i bought and how i upgraded it now i actually ended up buying uh, two different ssds one is just a standard ssd uh, here's the exact model that I got. I got them both on Amazon and for the latest prices just click the link in the description of this video because they, they always do change uh, and uh, if I, like I said I got this on Amazon so uh, I have Amazon Prime so that means I get free shipping and, and not only that but free express shipping within two days so uh, if you uh, ever plan to buy anything more than once at Amazon I would suggest getting Amazon Prime membership it's really good you pay $100 for a whole year and you get not only express shipping on everything pretty much that you buy, but you get unlimited music streaming, uh, movies, uh, and a whole bunch of other things and discounts and perks. So again, Amazon Prime, uh, if you're interested in that, again, the link for that I'll provide in the description of this video. And the other hard drive I bought is also an SSD, but you'll see it's uh, much smaller, kind of looks like a little memory chip. And this one, uh, just the difference is, is you, you really can only use it inside your laptop. So you have to install it physically to use it. The advantage of this drive is that because it is so small, uh, it takes up less space in your computer. So you can actually have more of these uh, in, in, your, in, in your average laptop. And now if you have a regular SSD, uh, that means you're going to have to take out your other hard drive and put it in place of, of that drive. Uh, then first you want to have an, a connect an SSD to your computer using a, you know SSD reader, like I have one here. Uh, and then you want to make a clone copy of your original uh, system disk into this new SSD. In order for your computer to recognize the hard drive, you're going to want to start up uh, Disk Manager. So just type in Disk Manager in your, in your Windows. Uh, that's going to load up uh, here this program. So as you can see, the Disk 0 is usually going to be your system disk and then whatever other disk number, usually Disk 1, is going to be your new hard drive. First you want to right click on it and choose Make Partition as Active. Uh, and then uh, once it's an active partition, then you can actually copy your, your old uh, hard drive into the new one. Uh, to copy the system drive, uh, you know, with all the sectors and all, all the information, I use Ease US Total Backup. It's a free application. I'm going to provide the link in the description of this video. Uh, you can get it and it allows you to make a perfect clone. So first you want to choose the source disk. So like I said, usually you're going to be disk zero. Click the whole thing if you want to copy all the partitions, which you probably want to do if you want to have an exact duplicate, uh, basically, of your system. Then click Next, and then you cho choose the, the hard drive where you want to copy it to. So it's, uh, in my case, it's just hard disk one. Click that, and again, click Next. Uh, and then it shows you up here the source disk and then the target disks, more or less, how much space you're going to have free and all that stuff, how big the partitions are going to be. And if everything looks good, then you just click Proceed. As you can see, in my case, I, I, I'm going to end up with two drives, basically, or two separate partitions. One, which is going to be my OS install drive, and then the other one where I have my data, or basically where I store my video files. Basically, all that it means is it's going to take my hard drive, uh, which is one terabyte big, and it's going to divide it into two, you could say, sort of separate drives, or two separate partitions. that are about half a terabyte each. Once you click that, uh, you're going to have to wait for, for the, the program to basically scan and copy every partition. So if you want, you can uh, check this little check mark next to shut down the computer when operation is complete. Now, depending on how fast or slow your computer is, it, this might take anywhere from an hour to even a few hours. So once you finish copying the, the drive uh, and you have an exact duplicate of your operating system on the new SSD, uh, then you want to open up your laptop. Uh, again, depending on which laptop you have, you might have to remove different screws and things like that. So make sure you follow the, the manual. 
uh, that came with your laptop. And once you open it up, you're gonna right away you'll be able to spot the big, you know, old hard drive, which in my case is here on the right side. So I have to remove that. Uh, it's fairly easy. Just you loosen up one of the screws, and then you can pull the hard drive out. And in its place, I'm gonna just slide in the SSD. Now, if you want, you can also buy one of these smaller SSDs, which are basically look like a little memory uh, chip. Uh, and they're, they're basically called M.2. Uh, uh, when you handle these, you definitely want to be careful and you know, make sure that you don't have any static electricity so you don't burn the, the actual card. And as you can see, to install that drive, uh, it's on my laptop here on the left side. I have three different pins that allow me to basically put these in there. Uh, anyway, so install it. I got to first remove one of these little screws. Once you've taken the screw out, then you just, just align the, basically the, the pins on the drive. And there's only one way that you can put it in there. Uh, if, you, if you put it in the wrong way, it's basically not going to fit in the pins. So there's, you, know, you can't possibly put it in the wrong way. And you kind of put it on an angle, then you push it down with your finger. Uh, and then just put uh, the screw back in, uh, in its original place. And that's it. That's all it takes to install the, one of these new M2 drives. Uh, and like I said, you can either get this or get one of the, uh, the, the other drives, uh, which are the, the standard SSDs. Now, obviously, if you want to make an exact copy of your system drive to the M2 type of SSD, then you're going to have to install the SSD first on the laptop, uh, start up the computer, and initialize the disk in, uh, using Disk Manager. Uh, and then, uh, you know, just use the, the same application that I was using for the, for the other SSD to make a copy of it. As you can see here, it shows in Disk Manager that Disk 0 is the one with the, the black kind of, uh, you know, mark on the top. That means it's not basically initialized, so you want to uh, turn it into an actual hard drive that, that the computer can recognize. So you cl choose create a new volume. It's going to ask you how big you want the volume to be. Usually, you just choose the standard. You can assign a, a drive letter to it. Uh, and you can even give it a, a name. And then at the end, just click Finish. And it's going to quickly format the drive. And now it should show up as a normal you know, primary partition. Uh, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want uh, specific links to the, the computer that I bought and also the hard drives, then make sure you check out the links in the description of this video. Or go to my website at tomantasfilms.com. Over there, I have other filmmaking tutorials, uh, information about the best uh, cameras, uh, audio systems, you know, speakers, headphones, things like that. Uh, plus, I have a lot of information and just resources for filmmakers in general. Uh, once again, that's tomantasfilms.com. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time.